Andre. Bye. Here. Bye. Bye, buddy. <laughs> I'm playing video games with my little cousin. So <laughs> here. Okay, Councillor Parker. Here. Okay. And the mayor and the town clerk are joining us. So here we are trying to accomplish a little something for to move forward. Um, but I'm gonna have to really depend on Juliet because my, as I mentioned, my file is in Connecticut. And I know we were going down through everything, you know, on a typical agenda. Yeah, can we approve the minutes? Oh, I am sorry, thank you very much. We will do that. Um, can I? Can I go I make a motion to approve February 11th, 2020 minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any abstentions? I think we're safe to say we are approved. Thank you. Okay, Ms. Parker, what's next? Our last, according to the minutes, um, the last item we talked about is rule seven. Can we double check that? It was what, huh? I'm sorry. Last last one we talked about was Rule Seven, the order of business. Okay. Oh, other business or the rule business? The rule business, which was Rule Number Seven on page three of our um, current rules. On mine, I've got two of them here, and on Number Seven, both of them, it's other business. Uh, order of business and agenda. Um, review of agenda items. Review of agenda items. That's what we have on it presently. Leanne, I'm yeah. sorry to put in. You were, the last motion you were working on was rule number seven, which is order of business on and agenda. So that's your setup of how your agenda, and you guys had made some changes. Okay, such as? Um, currently reads, roll call, declare quorum, and call to order. And we suggested that change the order to read call to order, roll call, and then declare a quorum. Exactly. <laughs> okay. yeah, call to order, then take the roll, or call to order, call a quorum, and then take Nah, you know what I mean. Call, yeah, call right. to order, call, <laughs> roll call, and declare a quorum. Perfect. And then section A, uh, the consent calendar, this discussion of moving the consent calendar as a whole, and currently reads approval of minutes, administrative items, um, and our discussion re reading of donations where they can be read, um, suggested about deletions from the town council referral list and appointments. What we would like the order to change the order to approval of minutes, appointments and administrative items and deletions from town council referral list may be deleted, still under discussion. Okay. I'm sorry. Say that last line one more time, please. It's we want to deletions from the town council referral list and we said may be deleted and it's still under discussion okay um andre what's your thoughts yes i'm okay with the uh, change we propose it um it makes more sense obviously to do the roll call um, and then to go straight into asking the quorum. Um, in terms of the rest of the, uh, let's see, the rest of rule seven, um, I'm okay with, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with the current process we have, which I think um, is pretty much reflected in, in the rules we have now. Um, so technically we only made it up to rule the consent calendar. We did not discuss the other ones. What was that? Communications and reports. 
other than committee reports and committee reports, new business, other business, and adjournment. So you're, I just want to confirm, Councillor uh, Bumgarner, that we're you're okay with the rest of those. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, God, I wish I had my other stuff with me. Go ahead, Juliet. You're doing a good job. Um, well, that's where we stopped at. So that's 7A. 7B is notes to order of business. Um, it discussed administrative items under um, number seven, consent calendar can include tax refunds and special trust fund donations. Number two is appointments under seven consent calendar are recommended by the personnel and appointments committee. And number three was those speaking under number eight, communication and reports other than committee reports are limited to five minutes. The five minutes is for what? For communications and reports. When we have to give what we're doing or what we receive is supposed to be as limited five to five minutes. Okay, is there any way to make it so that if you had an actual report, it would be five minutes and if you're just talking about what you did, it would be maybe three minutes? You know what I'm saying? You want to add? Well, Can't. tell me what you think. But my, my feeling is I'm trying to work on making this flow, but also making it so we're shortening the meeting by the amount of time that's allowed for going into questioning or whatever, or telling what you're doing, rather than using that time to make a a declaration of how you feel about something. You know what I mean? So basically you guys stick to what the communications and the reports are. Okay. Right? Is that what you mean in that thing else? Well, the problem is I don't even have what we're looking at to, to review. Um, oh. You need it via email? Uh, yeah. Hold on. Can you hold on just a second? I'm going to get my um, uh, iPad and I think I can pull it up. Okay. Um, everyone who's on, including um, um, Betsy, Portia Bordelon is having issues logging in. Okay, let me see. I don't see her. Hmm. You know, that might be because um, the woman that was helping us isn't online. No, she made me, she made me a co-host. Oh, um, okay. So, um, but of course my co-host uh, isn't working like it's supposed to. Let's see, I'll try an invite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should have thought to do this before. That's via email. Didn't we used to have it right at the top of, uh, I know there was some place that that, um, that was put. Um, I do not want to close them. Excuse me, Leanne. Yeah. Are you on the town page? Yeah. The town website. Okay. Yeah. If you go to the town website, go up to the upper left corner and find government. Pull down to town council, and you should find the rules as a drop down there. Okay. Well, if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, that's Is that what, what you're looking for. for? Okay. Let me just get it, get to it.
Hey, Betsy. Yep. Um, Portia's in. Can you add her on as a participant? I've got to find her. Let me take a second. Is it okay. I see her. I see her. I see her. There we go. There she is. Thanks, Betsy. You're welcome. I was just going to text you the codes. <laughs> I can't get to the top. What should I put in there, Patrice? So if you look, if you're on the town website, look at the top bar where it says government. And then if you click government, you'll have an opportunity to see town council listed. And if you click that, you should be able to get to um, the charter, the rules, all that stuff. I don't, I'm not in front of a computer, so I can't tell you exactly what it's going to say, but it should be on that drop down menu. Let me see if I, let me see if I can pull one up and share it on the screen. Hang on a sec. That might be easier. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Patrice. You're welcome. Can you see that or not? No, I can't. I I can't get back to the main page. I got everything in its uncle here, but the main page. Can you see my screen? Oh yeah, okay. I got that. So now you, can, you, yeah, do you want, I'll, I'll get a town council up now. I just wanted to test that, so that works. So let me get a town council one up. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Hello, Portia. Hello. I'm sorry I'm holding you all up, but I'm down here without anything. And uh, I thought I could ride through, but uh, not working.
Okay, I found what I was looking for. Fiddle faddle. That's okay. We'll, we'll I've, got, go. I've got it. I've just got to pull the old ones. <laughs> Computer is better than I am. I'm sure, that's for sure. No, nope, why, why don't you just email it to me? Yeah. See, these agendas aren't any good. That's the problem. You got to have one that has all the goodies in it that you want. So I have to go back to March. I've got one here for March 10th. There you, you go. Can... What, why don't you use that? That's what you I was talk, asking. You're talking about a regular agenda? Yep. Yeah, well, I have one here for March 10th. But when you guys kept saying seven, you know, Wait, she's looking for the rules. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I wasn't looking for the rules. No, no. Gosh. Leanne's looking for the rules. I thought she wanted an agenda. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll wander over. We'll 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 them. That's what I thought I wanted too, Betsy. I was, you know, I look at this and I think, okay, does this fall? well in what we're trying to do when we have a meeting. Okay, yeah. I've got rules of the laws. If I can, except I can't, I don't. While she's doing that, let me ask you a question. Councilor Obrey? Yes. I just sent um, the, uh, let's see, so if you go to the chat panel, um, I sent the link, um, which is a PDF online link. You can access if you copy and paste um, the link I posted in the panel box. Okay, I've got council rules. Share screen. Okay. Share screen. I'm going to print this, that, and we're good to go. Thank there you go. go. There's your rules. Thank you. And I'll just get down to seven for you. That's okay, Bessie. I'm printing them off. Okay. I think I am. I think I'm on. Um, of course, I'm out of paper. <laughs> well, it's on the screen, Leanne. Yeah, I know, but I, I want, all right, we're fine. Let's go then. I was trying to print some. Okay. Which one are we talking about here, Juliet? Now that I have this in front of me. Okay, we're at rule seven, seven B, number three. Okay. Okay, under B. Note to order of businesses. Oh my God, I'm actually with the rest of you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So number three is those speaking under seven, number eight communications and reports other than committee reports are limited to five minutes. And you want to add something to that? Well, I, I think if you're giving, well, it says other than committee reports. So I don't really think we need five minutes. You know, um, if it's communication and reports, what you've done and so forth, I think three minutes is is more than adequate and it would help to move to have a sense of moving along when we're having our meetings i really i'm not too crazy about leaving at 11 o'clock anybody else got any thoughts on it uh, council obrey um i understand kind of the intent of what you're suggesting um just kind of looking back in my time on the council, I'm not sure if anyone has gone above that five threshold. I think if anything, if they've hit that five, uh, five minute uh, threshold, it was because they were reading, uh, say a letter from a constituent or uh, making an announcement with respect to uh, important news in the town or um, something they're working on. So I, I think, um, as long as it is an abuse, which I don't think it has, um, I think there are probably other parts of the council where things have, really have gotten abused or have gone awry. But in terms of utilizing that uh, 
that period of time to, to speak and communicate those reports. And reports should only be limited to, you know, um, really the work you're doing on the council and as opposed to say, you know, things, you know, I, I think in, in recent years, our, our council has started updating folks on what they've attended or what they've been do, you know, going to, which is fine. But I think in, in many respects, the intent of communications and, and report is to you know, um, communicate directly with the, the manager if you have any questions or uh, to you know, talk about the work you're doing as it relates to the council. So I guess to an extent, you know, it, it may reflect also the meetings you attend. Um, so I, I'm okay with it as long as, you know, obviously folks don't abuse it and go over that five minutes, then, you know, um, maybe we'll have to revisit it or should revisit it. Okay. Well, let's see. I guess the next thing would be Leanne, could I just jump in real quick? Because yep. yep. Andre did an excellent job of explaining. And there's, and there's um, something to remember, and you'll see this depending on how long you, you elected to a council. Different personalities on the council, uh, different things happen. And, I, and you know, over the years, um, this particular report has been as limited because the mayor says, this is what you're supposed to do because it's their meeting, they could control it. You know, just, if it's not anything to do that for the council to work on, you don't say it, but you know, other mayors have said, make sure that you say who the, who the communication from and what the subject was. I mean, they get really detailed. So it really is a matter of person. Andre saying, and I don't remember recently anyone going over the limit of five minutes but i know why it was put in there because they did have counselors that would go on for 25 minutes under that area <laughs> okay um may, well maybe when we get to another part i'll try to do something that might I, i'm not sure what point at what point we'd be at because uh as we're going forward with this, but this probably be something. My feeling is, I'll tell you what it is, and as we go on, we'll find the right place for it to be discussed. But uh, especially after we have a, a, a meeting where somebody comes in and, and speaks to us, and then we have the right to have clarification on what they might be saying. But I don't think it's a time to uh go into a, lo a long series of questions i think one question and possibly a follow-up question and then you move on to your next counselor and they have the same ability if they want to do one kit question you know etc but i don't want it to go on as long as some of them do go on so so is that the email that um, counselor he sent us the limp that he had suggested well that's doing formats in the meeting well well I know I'm, I'm not exactly sure sometimes what it's what we're under or where we are but we get long toothed with uh, our questions our responses our responses become a series of additional questions and it, it almost loses its focus. And that's why I think, you know, you ask a question, if you get a response, you have the right to ask another question. And then after that, you pass it on to the next counselor. So, and chances are that next counselor or the counselor after is gonna ask the very question that you had in mind, but everybody gets an opportunity to talk and but with some sense of progress with it okay you must be you're talking about response to citizens petitions that's one time that I, that i've i've seen it where it goes on longer than i feel that is um you know it's not doing it's not doing any good it's just one you know it's just maybe one or two counselors that are caught up on it and probably would be better to step away do a little research on it and then come back and, and make it a, a something that we're going to discuss as a council. Mm. You know, if it's that important. 
You know, um, just a thought that you, you know how you have liaisons. There's no real place to report. I mean, Juliet always has a liaison report under communications and it really belongs under liaison reports, but we don't have li liaison reports. You have communications and reports other than committee reports. So would, so would that, would that be better to say liaison reports? No. No. Okay. Uh, well, ahead. that's just me. That's just me personally so saying just put, that. Just put the liaison reports under communication reports. It's still, I'm still reporting out because I'm attending uh, a meeting on behalf. So, I, as liaison, right, right, that, right. But so, so what I'm asking is, should you, under section eight, should it say communications and reports, liaison, and other committee reports? Other than, but see, you want, it says other than committee reports. Committee reports obviously is rules committee and personnel committee because that's the only committees you have. Because um, we're not hearing from the other liaisons. I'm getting that's what I'm getting to. No, well, we really don't. Well, we'll have a couple more now. Like I'm now trying to to be at the meetings for the waste management got that fancy name so I'd start having a report but I see what you're saying I mean we got communication reports and other committee reports other than I, I think they, have, they need to be separate I think we need to have one we need to have communications and then reports um, would be the liaison reports right all right, so you want the word liaison added? Yeah, I think that would be more appropriate. Councilor Baumgartner? I take no issue in that. Would it, would the liaison reports um, uh, take the place of any time period where we do the communications or would it be kind of an, an added um, kind of item to the agenda where the mayor would say, okay, liaison reports. You know, actually, I think it should go under E. You know, where we are asking for department heads and then to have a line in that said for la liaison reports. Well, right now it says committee reports, but we don't really have committees. We have people going to other meetings, but we don't really have what would it be a committee report that we would have? Uh, rules, rules or uh, pr uh, procedures, um, appointment and, and procedures committee. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, appointment, uh, rules and procedures committee and then uh, the appointments committee, personnel and appointments. Right. Which is number nine. So in, instead of, so under number seven, eight, we want to add liaison reports. Yeah. But why can't maybe, we add communications maybe, and. Uh, wait a minute. We've duplicated here. If we put communications, reports, liaison reports, and then it says other committee reports, when down below you got committee reports. No, that's other than, not though, it's not those. It's other than committee reports. We can't report out under that. Also section, that's also eight, not seven. Wait a minute. Seven, eight, seven. Eight, yeah. It's eight, seven, eight. no. It's seven. seven, a, eight. Right? Seven, a, eight. eight. Well, at eight, okay. it says communication and reports other than committee reports. So we don't report our committee reports under town council and when we're reporting out as a town councilor we are not reporting about rules committee or personnel and appointments committee or the temporary rules committee right i'd i'd slide it before or after committee reports wait a minute why can we not say communications and reports and liaison reports because then yeah. that means we'll be able to say it then under our town councilor part. So unless you want to do it separate, because no, we're still correct. reporting out 
reporting yeah, how everything we're done. Put a comma after communication. So yeah, just put a comma in. Yeah. You're right, Betsy. Yeah. All right. Get rid of the and there, and then move it and put and liaison reports. Okay. Communications. I'm um, communications, comma, reports, and liaison reports. Right. No, I so what what is what what are we changing? We're what adding is, liaison reports. No, but what are we changing about the meeting? Now that it's just uh, what do you mean changing about the meeting? So we're we're not doing. I mean, so I, I I don't understand why we would need to add that if we're not changing anything about the meeting. It, it's well, right now we don't have any place where we have liaison reports. We have communications, reports, comma, liaison, liaison. I'm not saying it correctly. Liaison, liaison. Thank you. In other words, it, so Councilor Barbara is, she wants the, us to make sure we report out on any committee meeting where we're representing the town of Groton, mm -hmm. like for myself, TVCCA. Mm -hmm. So, she wants me to report out what's happened at TVCCA. But most of the time I don't get an opportunity to do that. So I don't know if everybody else is getting the opportunity to say, this is what happened at this report. This is what happened at the meeting I attended. So right. economic, economic right. development. So someone exactly. comes and goes to economic development meeting because we can be a liaison to that, mm -hmm. comes in and reports, okay, this is what I heard at the thing or the golf I believe the golf committee that the mayor attends. Right. She reports out that. That's a liaison report. Exactly. So that communication would then take it take place under seven uh, A. No. Yes. That li that liaison report it would be a fall under seven A, correct? Seven A eight. It's still under it's still under seven A. Number eight under communications reports and liaison reports. I'm sorry. So I'm yeah, I meant to 8A. My apologies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, it still would go under town councilors. Okay. Got it. Okay. I'm good with so that. I'm gonna, all right. Hold on. Let me highlight that on my paperwork. Um, let me highlight that. Oh, no. Well, that's okay. That'll work. So added. Patrice, do we have any committees? Um, we have the rules and procedures. Okay. And, um, personnel and appointments, and that's it. But okay. if I if I may speak to what you guys have been discussing, if that's okay. Sure. Thank you. I know I'm not a member of the committee, so I'm trying to trying to be silent here. Um, I think I understood where you were going when you were addressing the issue about the limit on time. Um, Councilor Obrey, um, I think the the issue is more of the content. What do you, what do you want to have reported under Councilor Communications? I think that's the that's the thing that we should clarify. Okay. Um, and I think it goes to what Betsy was with the clerk. Sorry, what the clerk was discussing when she said um, the historical aspect of this and what other mayors have done and giving instruction as to what should be contained in that. So my preference would be to get some kind of consensus from the council as to what types of things they want reported out there. I mean, do we want reported out that we went to a dinner at the Elks or do we want reported out the um, communication from the golf advisory board? So that's the only thing that I would like to see clarified under um, section B, please. Thank you. Uh, if I might, I think communications and reports this is what it should be if the counselors have done something usually that does that is that when that comes yes because really they should be talking about what they've attended to bring the and so the information comes back to the council because I know there's a lot of things like with the EDC that could be communicated that would be very helpful. So that as things go forward, you kind of know what to expect. Uh, okay, question or clarification. Well, a question. So if we attend 
an event that we could bring information back from to share that still, for instance, Safe Future had me come back and say, can you announce that we're doing tours and want to give out information that they're available in the community so people would know. But that is not really my committee or I'm not, that's not a liaison, I'm not a liaison for that. I just went there on behalf of the council. So those type of things, mm -hmm. or when we go to, the Elks had an installation, so do we acknowledge that? Because they do do a lot in our community. They, they're always given back, as well as the Rotary, as other groups that we do attend their functions. GAFS, the Serenity Ball, gives back to the community. It raises money to support people who need to um, be supported with their drug or alcohol addiction. So those type of things, how do you want that handled? Is that the type of information you want or we don't say anything at all? Because I don't think a lot of people know that those, sometimes they hear it, but don't hear it what they're, the other groups are doing outside of us bringing it forward. Well, personally, I think that belongs at the end of the meeting. Um, Under what section? Uh, I'm not, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it. Maybe under other business, I don't know. We have an opportunity for new business, so you get to say if something's on your mind that you wanna look into in the future, that maybe under other business, you could say where you've been or what you've been doing. Where, where do we do it now, Patrice? Cause it's always at the beginning. Where do you do what now? I'm sorry. Where do you, like when you say, okay, I've been to an EDC meeting, you know. Well, you, everybody's been kind of lumping it under communications. Like when I when I go down the dais and, you know, Councilor Baumgartner, Councilor Parker, and everybody just kind of looks at their calendar and goes through it and tells us everything that they've done. And if, if that's what the consensus of the council is to keep that, that's fine. But that's where I think, I, I assume that's where you were going where you thought it was too much, but I could, I could have been wrong. No, you're right. I, I think that should be when we do the reports of, of council members that have gone to other meetings in order to have open communication between the council and all the other things that are going on. Anything that we wouldn't have a director of a department coming in and telling us is kind of my thought. Because there's a lot that goes on that we don't necessarily, like you go to a golf meeting and we're not going to have Barry at the next meeting telling us about it. So we need you to tell us if you feel there's something that should be shared. And I think that that would be a better use of that time. And then if somebody has something they really wanted to talk about that they had gone to, then do it under other business. All right. So So under communications and reports, reports, you want communication comma reports. Got it. And liaison reports. Right. The only, this is only for meetings. Right. You know, I know there'll have to be an educational aspect of that to, to all of us to remember that that's what it's there, but it also makes it so you're going to come in with a report right now. We don't really do that. And I, and I, for one, don't come prepared for a report. And I should. If I got to start talking about garbage, I guess I got to do it correctly. All right. So do we want clarification under that? Say to I think what we can do is um, maybe if we, there, we want to refine that section, um, maybe um, one of us should be tasked or somebody can write that up and then next meeting we can discuss that change as opposed to, so we can just kind of roll through as opposed to writing it on the fly. Cause I know we got a lot more rules to review and. Um, well, and we also have some ones that we have to go back over. I sent sure. you guys the highlighted ones. So. When, when did you do that hon? Sorry. Uh, after our last main meeting, I'll, uh, after tonight, yeah. I'll send this one too. Okay. All right. 
Okay, so add, um, uh, Claire, let me write Parker. the word. Parker, I apologize for calling you, hun. It, oh. <laughs> Council Obrey, I'm so used to you've been calling me that for years. I just <laughs> I, I tune things out sometimes and just say, okay, it's, it's just natural. Um, so I'm just gonna write in here clarification of what should be contained. Yeah. Under communications. Right. And when I send this out, it will be in red so that the questions you guys will write something up on your end okay all right next line okay anybody else have something that they'd like to discuss i kind oh. of been dominating this with my ideas the department heads yes um i'm sorry councillor parker i was just going to say uh, most some of the time they're sending us emails departments have been sending us emails about that so are we reading those into the record i know that i believe they post those what they send out to us on their websites do we make that a, as an announcement or because i know there's certain things that probably shouldn't be mentioned i believe i i at least in my thought well maybe we should ask john about that one what he, Patrice, what would you be comfortable with? I don't, we rarely have a department head, superintendent, or members of the board of vet attend unless right. they are already on the agenda. Right. So I don't know that we need to keep that there. Um, if, right. if there's something on the agenda that planning is doing, John shows up and he speaks there. Um, so. It's really up to you, but that's that's been the way I've seen it happening. Uh, we don't usually have anybody that speaks under 8E. No, I think we could probably- Delete it? Uh, I think we could delete it. And then if we have somebody that's coming in, it would be part of the agenda. Maybe it goes under committee reports, maybe it goes under new business. But well, I, don't, I think yeah. it's a little embarrassing to always have this here and people don't understand that they're really not gonna come in unless we have something to talk with them about. I can agree with that. What do you think, Portia? You're there. You can tell us. About the department head section? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's here. I mean, I mean, it depends on what your goal is. I mean, if you're trying to streamline it and clean it up. And... That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could you could read some stuff in if some information is sent that you think should be part of the record. I mean, it just really depends on how you want to run it. Right. Because just because we get the email doesn't mean the community at large knows what's going on, you know? Yeah. So if there's any highlights, it, it would be a good spot to read of uh, something of importance, I guess. But I don't know. Um. Let me, let me ask you something. You know, I, it's been a long time since I've been on the RTM, so I don't remember. But when I turn on the RTM, there's always people there giving reports from different departments. Am I correct? I see John Reiner there, or I see uh, Paige there. I see uh, the rec director. So um, the RTM, the RTM um, has... Um, a place for economic development um, to give a report. They like to have all the information given to them. Uh, and so John Reiner, he doesn't go, he probably four times a year he goes uh, okay. and he will give a, part, a report uh, and he'll, he'll have a written report, the same report that he gives council. It's not any different. It's just the RTM wanted it, which, you know, I can, I can understand. <clears throat> and the superintendent is always there and he normally makes a meeting because it's important to keep as much information available uh, to the public about what's going on with, with the schools. Big money we're spending. Right. Well, how about, how about if we just do, uh, we were to change it to department head reports 
and then not have a list there. Don't have the superintendent of schools um, since we don't have, a, you know, so it could be, you could fill in anybody when you were doing the, um, the you know, the uh, agenda. If you guys think it's okay where it is, you know, that's fine. Just I, I, I agree with you, Leanne. I think putting the superintendents, like saying superintendent's going to speak, it looks like, well, where is he? You know, versus yes. just making it more generic and saying department heads. And then, right. Yeah. I, I think so, because I, I, I find it a little embarrassing when people say to me, how come he didn't show up? Uh, you say, think well, you could put a comma after the town manager and say um, additional reports? Or department something something because it would be the department head i mean the town manager would be asking for these reports from the department heads not council you know what i mean yeah um, he, he can include it in his report so in other words the su superintendent could give the town manager a report for the council uh, I think, you know, just I put know. in additional department reports I don't know. I, I think for a while we just need to keep it really, really clean and, and not, you know, if we have somebody come in, they become part of the agenda and other and that just, I think we are better just to leave it out. Yeah. Yeah. Andre, your thoughts. Uh, I'm, a, I'm fine with, um, with what we're proposing. Are you eating? No, 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 I'm listening. <laughs> okay. Yes, I, I'll just, I, I also have to be on a, in another meeting at, at 6.30, so. Um, okay, that, that's fine. Appreciate your time. Um, is there anything else, anything then that you'd like to bring up at this point? Uh, yes, I, so the new business and other business, I think it's, probably going to be a little more of a substantial discussion when we really get into the kind of the history of why uh, other business exists. Um, perhaps, uh, and maybe a quick, uh, maybe um, Clerk uh, McAlger can give us a quick rundown as to why uh, other business is included on our agenda. Um, I know in re or more recent years, it's been a discussion item for previous councils. And so I'm just looking to get some background as to why um, both of those items are there. You know, if, if I can tell you what I think, and then Patrice probably can help with this, but you know, there used to be a list of items that we had not finished. And um, th that would be there under other business or something close to that. And then you had a list so you could look at it and you could maybe say, look, do you think next week, next time we meet, we could bring this one current, know what's really going on? Because without a list, you forget. Uh -huh. I think that you're uh, confusing council and committee of the whole because the committee of the whole has a referral list or used to have a running referral list and you would have that with your packet. And, okay, okay. And you, right? But with council, you, you would only be deleting any items from that list that you are either on your agenda for that evening or things that the, the committee of the whole said we want to get rid of. Okay. But so this new legislative program we have doesn't give you those reports. So it's kind of, I don't know how Lisa's keeping track of it, but um, you know, it's, it, it, it's a really, uh, it really is a helpful tool to know all the things that a council uh, is working on at all yeah. times. It is nice, but it wouldn't be on this agenda. That's on the committee of the whole agenda. Okay, thank you. Well, I think we need to figure out some way to, uh, to talk with John about getting that back as maybe once a month, we'd have the list. Can I, can I um, that other business, I know, and maybe Patrice, the mayor can help on this because the uh, town manager said something at the last or excuse me, council meeting that 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 item that item on your agenda can only be used for um, items that you're going to be adding to the agenda which require a, a um, suspension of the rules in other words if something didn't get added to the agenda and you need to add it that's where you would put it uh, that confused me because i thought other business 
would be an opportunity for new business to be introduced to be sent to committee, you know? Yeah. You know, so in other words, you want to, you want a, a, a dog leash or, or pooper scooper leash law or something, and you send that to committee of the whole, that's where you would do it. Yeah. I don't know. That's a question that I can't answer. That's what I thought it was for. <laughs> well, I think if we could uh, uh, work on a, a list once a month of uh, unfinished activities or business of the council, that would be very Maybe helpful. Pull. And, and then I, th I think I could be happy with most everything that, you know, we've talked about. Um, so, number 7A11, other business, do you want it to be reworded or you want that as a referral list? No, I think other business should stay there because there's usually something that somebody needs to talk about. You know, I don't know, maybe it should just say new or other business. I don't know how you separate new and other. Or maybe we could just say and uh, other business, um, um, how would we say it? New business would be if you have a concern and you want to have it discussed whenever to be put on, but like other business could be, that could kind of be where we're asking for the list. You know, what have we done? What are the other things we've already done? Patrice? Yes? <laughs> What's your thought? <laughs> um, I, I agree with what you're saying about the new business, other business seem a little bit too similar and I don't see a big distinction between them. As far as what can be raised under other business, I would like to hear back from John again about what his rationale was for stating that. I thought he had gotten, I don't know if he talked well, to if you look or not. Down, Do you remember? I'm, I don't remember that part, but if you look down at C under notes and businesses, it says only items reported from a committee with approval recommended by a majority of the committee members shall present, shall appear on the agenda. So any action on any other items shall require suspension of the rules and shall comply with FOIA. Hence where he, that's where he got it from. So we cannot bring up any other business unless we've already, as uh, Tom Clerk has said, that has come from the committee. So then um, why do we even have 10 other and business. Roman numeral 10 and 11 there? Number 11, other business? Because it's a new business. If, if you're looking at rule 7C agenda, and uh, it's the last sentence on the page that you read from about suspending rules, et cetera, then yep. is, is 11 and um, 10 and 11, are they necessary there? Well, isn't technically new business what we get ready to discuss for items? Isn't that how it is under the new system? According uh, to this, okay, that's, a, that's what 11, that's what 10 is, right? You can just call it business. Forget about new business, it's business. It's the business. The agenda that you have for council is your business that you're gonna be doing tonight. Either you don't do it or you do it, whatever's listed. But uh, other business, I really, I would, I would really like you to consider that as an area of new ideas that are brought to the table. Say, in other words, I would like to see the, the, the council work on X, Y, Z, and it would go, that X, Y, Z would go to, uh, as a referral to the commi committee of the whole. I, I don't know, you know, otherwise you're just sending in, you know, emails to the mayor um, for agenda items, correct? Well. Well, we haven't even gotten down. Well, we haven't even gotten down to that section yet. So that's the, we got to work on seven. Okay. Then we'll go down to that one because okay. that's a whole other ball game. To I, I have out, that's I, kind of, I, 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 I'm I, sorry, I'm talking. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so because that's a whole other uh, um, topic because there's conflicting things on how that's done, and that's one of the items we we're going to talk about 
later on down the road. But do we, if we can clarify, because I believe Council Bumgarner has to attend to his next meeting at 6.30. Yeah, why don't we, why don't we close with what we've done tonight and uh, we'll kind of absorb all of it once we get the, uh, the minutes and uh, then we'll, we'll uh, agen you know, get together again and, and go forward. I think, we've, I think we've accomplished quite a bit tonight in making this a little bit more powerful in how it's going to be done. I just had one quick question. Yeah. Um, the, the line where it says only items reported from a committee, we, we don't even have enough committees to really represent all the items that could come up. That's where it seems confusing to me. No, it goes to the committee of the whole. Right, but I mean, like to it, other, that's other the, business. That's I, the commi wait, committee wait, they're wait, talking wait, about. One at a time. What, what, Can what, I finish or, or yeah, I'll wait? Definitely finish your statement, uh, Portia. We want that input. All right, I'm just, I, I'm asking for clarification. I, I kind of agree with Betsy in the sense that like the other business, you know, is a chance to bring things up and, and this, the way this is written is, is confusing. It's not very clear. Thank you. But right, what you're saying is on what we're supposed to be following, rules of procedure. It's a little confusing yeah. for the way we are actually doing it. The way we're doing it and what is written here is, it's, it's as a person coming in, it is very confusing yes. for me anyway, but. Julia, your thoughts? My thoughts is, it says it right there, only items from a committee, which is the committee of the whole. Th that's my interpretation of it. And, and looking at this for the last couple of years is that it's the committee of whole, because we still have to all get approval by the majority to, of us as the committee of whole to discuss an item. Uh, I agree with Juliet. The, the, our committee of the whole is the committee. Everything comes through committee of the whole. Even because that's it's capitalized. Thing, it comes through committee of the whole. And with the capital C, it means committee of the whole. Not oh, you're the... Okay. Huh? I said I'm you're sorry. Shoppy. You're <laughs> shoppy little fell. Okay. Well, <laughs> well the, only, the only clarification with that statement, Juliet, is your rules committee, this particular committee, does not go to committee of the whole. It goes to town council. And rules and procedures. Um, uh, personnel and appointments doesn't go to committee of the whole, it goes to the council. So any committee, if you had six other committees, those committees report right to the town council, not committee of the whole. Committee of the whole is a committee. That's right. So that, that doesn't, what Betsy just said does not conflict with what Juliet just said. It's consistent. Okay. All right. Well, let's, let's, um, if everybody's in it, I think we need to kind of digest what we've been talking about tonight. I think it's good. I think we've made some real strides. And thank you for getting me set up to do that. Um, I, but, I do have one, one last question um, to, yeah. um, so what, can um, someone clarify what the difference between temporary rules and the rules committee are? You're working on uh, the rules of the town council because um, you right now you're working town council from the last council's rules 32, which were approved last December um, 20, 2019. So this committee is uh, is working on the current rules. What you want to so 32. That's so quick clarification then. Then that technically means that. Chairman and Councillor Heed is still chairman of the Rules Committee. Right. This is temporary rules. And when do we become, after we approve these minutes, um, approve the rules changes is when we become the actual Rules Committee. Right. When you hand off your final report to the Town Council uh, okay. and they adopt your report, I mean, they, they might want to make more changes. It goes back to you, you know? But once your final report is accepted, then th your committee is finished. Okay, that makes sense. We better so, get uh, Councilor Heed to join us at our next meeting. 
Yes, because so technically you still We're, we're talking yeah. about something. He can tell us why they had it the way that it was. <laughs> Maybe add something to the conversation. Anybody have anything else they'd like to share? Well, my point is, I mean, he, he's chair of that com committee by virtue of him uh, having won re-election. And had he not won re-election, then would he still be chair of that committee? No. So, you know, my question is who 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 serves on that standing committee currently? Is it only Councillor Heed? Well, technically, myself, it would be, I believe, myself and Councillor Zapiri. So is that is that who Mayor Granitowski, um, because the, according to our rules, the mayor is not only to appoint the membership, but also the chairman of that committee. So is that an action she took in this current year? Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she, she appointed that committee a while back. I can give you that exact if you want it. But yeah, the, the permanent rules committee is Chairman Heed uh, and, and Councillor Parker and his Councillor Zapiri. But I thought that I thought that um, Juan Melendez wanted to do uh, personnel and appointments and I still have him. This, is that correct? Councillor Melendez? Personnel and appointments. Melendez is chair of personnel and appointments. That's what I have. Well, that's, a, that's an interesting question. I guess we'll have to figure that one out. I personally felt like, you know, they did what they did and now we got a whole new group here. Even though we're not a whole new group, we are a new group. And now it's time for us to review these and see if, if you know, if we feel that this works well. So I, I kind of feel like we're the committee and I'm the chair, but I'm always open to education. So um, maybe we need to um, get clarification on that part. Yeah. Is there is there a confusion? This is your this is the temporary rules committee for the council rules. Right. But he he asked why the ones that were part of the permanent committee last last grouping didn't come forward and I think it's because we are a new group and there was a selection made for new people to be working on it so I think that I think that really takes Conrad out of that position because right now it's temporary it's a temporary group they were permanent that was the last time this is new, this is temporary, and eventually it'll become permanent. No, no, no. no. Two, di two different groups. <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah. They, they were before. No, no, the current, the current rules committee chair, the current, not temporary, the, there's a rules chair and there's a temporary rules chair. You're the temporary rules chair. Once you adopt your rules, then it goes to the permanent chair. He doesn't have any rules right now. He has the old rules. Okay. Well, my, oh, my he's a standing is, committee. Okay, my I get question it. Is, did um, Mayor Granitowski appoint a rules committee for the, what are we, the 33rd council? 32nd. 32nd. The 32nd. So did she appoint a rules committee for the 32nd council? Yeah, that's us. No, no. you're the temporary. Temporary. Is well, she you, on, can't, you can't you appoint the line? I am here. I thought maybe I'm wrong. Mayor, Mayor, uh, I, I was asking, um, did you appoint a rules committee in, in membership for the 32nd council? Yes, and I don't quite understand the relationship um, that was explained by the clerk either. Um, I assume that once the rules are done and adopted by the council, then the three with Councilor Overy's chair would take over as the permanent rules committee. Um, and perhaps the clerk can clarify that. I'm not quite sure of the distinction. And how many can be on a rules committee? I appointed three, three is the number on the committee. Madam Clerk, could you just clarify, please, where do we get the um, 
the distinction between the temporary rules and the, the regular rules. I'm not quite clear on that. Well, it's just simply, you, you know, you have a duty of appointing committees and you have, th you have three committees, committee of the whole, rules committee, and then the uh, personnel and appointments. When you appointed a temporary committee to review the rules, they're separate from the actual rules committee that you appointed. And their, their, their duty is to review and make suggestions to the council of, of the rules. Once those rules are completed and the, and the council adopts those rules, your permanent, the one that you already appointed would have those rules. Now, if you want to change committee. Could, could you give the me council. the, um, I don't have it handy. Could you give me the date when the appointment was made and then I could go in and take a quick look at that? You know, it's been a while since we've done these things. Yeah. Yeah, let me see if I can pull that up for you. Thank you. You Are you in your office, ma'am? I am, I am. Oh, so thank I'm, you very much. That's convenient. It's convenient. <laughs> Let's see. Rachel, you got anything to toss in? I saw she was there. I thought maybe she was... I yeah, I'm here. No, I'm just listening. I miss most of the meetings, so I really don't have anything to contribute right now. Okay. So thank you. No. So I have one more, more question. So does it have to be three or can it be four or where does that number come from? And then my other question is, um, can you be on the temporary rules and the actual standing committee? Are you able to be on both? What do you mean by standing committee, Portia? I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, I'm sorry, the appointed um, rules committee as well. Like, can I be um, the on the uh, appointed to the rules committee and also be on the temporary rules? Can you be on both? In other words, she's asking, well, uh, how can I be on both? Right. I'm just asking, can you be on both? Don't know. Are you asking me? Uh, I'm just asking, yeah, I'm just like, and, 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 where, and do you, does it have to be three or is that just a number well, you that- don't want to have an, You don't want to have an even number ever. You, you have to have a right. number because you, you don't want to have a tie. Okay. Yeah. Councilor Overy? Yeah. Yes, um, I, um, so I, I'd like to, this is actually, I think a good segue. I've just learned that I, I don't have a meeting any longer. It's on the 21st, uh, mm -hmm. so I can participate for the greater duration of the evening. Um, now, these are all great questions, I think, that, you know, could very much inform how the new rules are written. Um, nothing is precluding us from stating, you know what, why, why shouldn't we codify a certain uh, number in the, in the uh, rules regarding committee membership? Should it be three? Should it be five? Um, it, it can't be five because that means we're having, it's a um, town council meeting. Because five or more is town council. And, then, and if you had four, you're, you're going to have a lot of split decisions. I, I think the kind of thought, thought was that with three, you're, you're really going to have to work together to come up with a, an okay to go forward on, on something. I don't know. That was my thought. And the meeting was December 3rd, and I yeah, appointed the temporary, temporary just, rules committee. Yep, I just got um, that. Mm -hmm. Councilors Bumgardner, Obrey, and Parker to the Temporary Rules Committee. There's That's nothing right. in here um, on this particular meeting mm -hmm. about the Permanent Rules Committee. My assumption was that that Temporary Rules Committee would eventually roll over and become the Permanent Rules Committee. That was my intention. And, and if it's not, if it's written somewhere else that that does not occur, um, we can address that. But my intention was to have these three be the Permanent Rules Committee. Yeah, you, you have that, you know, you, you appoint anybody you want. That's the way it works. All right. Now, I, just so you know, I have no problem with anybody attending the meetings. It just comes down to the fact that the actual committee can do the final vote. But input is absolutely welcomed. You know, because different people think of different things. Um, to continue with what I, what I was saying earlier, um, I know the previous... Um, some of the previous councils, I think, 
well before any of our time um, in the early 2000s, they had um, several standing committees, um, and I'm not at all advocating for you know ad adding new standing committees, but um, those committees actually had four um, appointed members on each of those committees. Uh, so they were split and that actually probably had to force people to, to make decisions in the case you know, there was a deadlock uh, to actually have to compromise and work together to get to a, you know, uh, a, a majority. So, do you, you know, know what those committees were? Yes, um, some of them were. So actually, they they very very much mirrored what the RTM had. Um, so I'm actually looking at some of the old rules from the 2010 um, Council. It's uh, community and cultural development, economic development, education, health, and social services environment slash energy, finance, personal appointments, rules and legislation, public safety, public works slash recreation, and the committee of the whole. So in total, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine committees. So that would probably mean every everyone would uh, chair a committee, uh, most obviously the committee of the whole being chaired by the mayor. Yeah. I wonder how that worked for him time-wise. Sure, it was a lot of meetings. <laughs> yeah, that that would be my concern because I know everybody's time, except for now, we have a little extra time, but most times you're kind of running from one thing to another. And I think that some of that is covered by a liaison versus a whole committee because, um, you know, they're organized, they're working on things daily, and then you go to the meeting and you know what's happening. And if there's something that the council needs to be updated on, you know, you come in and you report that, but you don't have to go through asking those directors to come to a meeting, you know. Um, did they meet monthly, do you know? I, I would imagine so. I wonder, uh, um, uh, Betsy, do you, do you have any knowledge of that? Yeah, I have a lot of information about that. If you want to go into it, I can give you a lot of information. Yeah, that'd be great. I can send you, I can send you, uh, you know, committee reports. What typically would happen uh, is, so you have a uh, one night uh, a month where all committees would meet on the same night. Oh my God, how did you do that? Because <laughs> you're going to be on multiple. Because you're not going to be on television. You're not going to be, you know, the town manager's not going to be there. So it's all the referrals that you had, you know, for what you're currently working with account committee of the whole you would have those divvied up to public works or finance or you know education uh, those committees would handle those items same thing for your budget but it's just we do things differently now and this is a more efficient I guess you know because people want to yeah they want I don't know I, I it, it's certainly a preference of uh, personality again when you when you look at um, how, how much time someone has if you split up you split up the council committee the whole agenda by four ways how quickly would you be finished probably 25 to 30 minutes right each per, each group maybe maybe a half an hour i don't know an hour i don't know how quickly you'd be done but it wouldn't you know i don't know that's how it used to work anyway i can send you minutes so you can see how it worked i think that I think if we try putting more emphasis on the reports that we should have from people attending different departments, I think it could really cover that. And I, I, I would encourage trying that for a while. And if it doesn't work well, I, I don't know, can you ask to do a, a, a change, you know, in another year or do you got to wait till the next council? You, you, you. You guys, you know, you can do things anytime you want to, but that's, a, that's up to you. And I, I just, I, don't, I, I think it, you need to really sit down and, t and discuss what you want to do. I don't think that um, you just want to do this on the fly, you know? No, no, not at all. Because I think it would be, you know, like with the RTM, there's enough people that you're probably very rarely on maybe two committees. But with what we have, uh, you're going to have nine committees, nine, you know, things. You're going to be, you're going to be virtually at every other meeting, which would be pretty difficult. 
many how many li liaison um, positions are there? Uh, well, I know there's EDC. I know there's golf. There's r rubbish. Um, Table advisory. Uh, it, it, the Eastern bus. Health. I mean, there's a there's a bunch. I have two pages. Is, yeah. That's the list that was sent out to, via email to all of us. Yes. Yeah. And is that up anywhere on the website? I, I know. Um, no, no, it's not on the website. Yeah, there. So one thing, New London, um, the New London City Councilors have is um, they have a list of all the committees they serve on um, within their council. They they have a committee um, committee system similar to what um, the RTM has, where they have the kind of the breakout groups sim similar to the the list I read. Um, but um, what they also list the liaisons you know, the, the, the liaison roles they serve on. So in the case you, you know, want to reach out to someone about SCARA, I'll say, okay, I know I, who I can reach out to. I can reach out to Councilor Obrey. So um, that's here, there, nor there, but, um, you know, it, it may be helpful to c kind of have a, a written inventory of, of uh, kind of the who's who on, on which, kind of, um, leads, you know, uh, I take that back on our, on our uh, um, town register uh -huh. uh, under under your regional appointments, you know, committees, your names are there if you're on those liaisons. I was just going to say that, Betsy, thank you for clarifying. It's all in the register, whatever um, you're appointed to. So I think we need to probably give this a you know, a good run, you know, where we do actually have communications, reports, liaison, you know, et cetera. I think it's gonna bring it to where, you know, usually we just say, oh, nothing's happening. Well, if you go to a meeting, something's happening and this way you're gonna to have to have some sort of a report. And I think it's gonna open up the communication of our council. Because right now, I have no idea what's going on with the bus situation. Uh, you know, I, I, you know I, I have real questions about what kind of service we're getting. And I don't honestly know who goes to that meeting anymore, so I need to find out so I can talk to that person. But if they were coming in and giving a report, then you're going you know, to be much more familiar with what's going on. Um, Andre? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I hear what you're saying. And you know what might be helpful? If you want, if you have the time, set up what you would see as committees and who you would have to have in each one. And just see how it, how it plays out. I think you're going to find that it's very cumbersome, but I could be wrong. Well, it's all in the eye of the beholder. What you you know you may see as someone who is ideal in in some position may not be for someone else. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. I'm, I but I'm op My mind is open. I'm open, but I'm not visualizing it now, so I can't really say I think it's a good idea or a bad idea because I have no idea what kind of time we'd be having to put into to other committees and i'd just like to kind of see okay this is how it works well maybe that's possible but right now i can't even you know i just don't think we have enough people if you took the uh, committee the whole out of the picture and you only use the committee the whole to do the budget let's say then how does it look yeah I don't know. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I just you Matt, know, you, you'd have to take an agenda and that and and separate it out to say, okay, how it, you know, committee the whole agenda, how would it look? And remember that the mayor is Leah is a ex officio on all the committees, so she, you know the mayor can go to all the committees. But we don't want to kill her, Madam Mayor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, uh, your thoughts? Oh, hi, Councilor. Hi, Conrad. Hey. Can I can I speak for a second? Can, I just asked Madam. I was asking Madam Mayor. Okay. 
Oh, um, sorry. Thank you, Councillor Parker. Just on the idea of the committees, um, my concern is that the committee would do its work and would probably do a fine job and get through everything they needed to get through. But then that committee would come back to the whole council and the whole thing would have to be rehashed all over again from square one. Um, because we're a very curious council and we have lots of questions. And I think every single one of us would wanna ask every single question that we had about every single item like we do now. And so I see it not as a time saver, but as um, more cumbersome than the current system would be. Uh, I tend to agree with you, but I can say my mind's open, but Conrad, share with us. Yeah, um, I just wanted to point out that on the RTM, they have committees and it requires the staff to show up to the committee meeting and then you go through, for example, the budget process and the staff has to be there also. I think it'll be double time for the staff and everybody's like um, Brenna Toski mentioned, everybody's going to want to ask the questions. Um, it, I, I don't think it, you know, I'm not opposed to it. I just don't think it'll work as well. Um, the We have some task forces, for example, um, take the um, uh, the school property task force, uh, where we're, uh, you and I sit on that, Liam, um, and we still have to bring uh, the staff and the developers and everything to the town council after we've gone through the interview process, but we're just doing the interviews. We're not, um, you know what right. I mean? Yeah. It's a little bit different um, because we're, we're conducting an interview and then we show up, okay, here's the preferred developer. Well, why is he the preferred developer? And then you have people who say, well, I'm not voting on this because uh, I wasn't a part of the process. You know, so I think it's gonna cut both ways. I, I personally would rather stick with a cow, uh, but like I said, it's uh, whatever the majority wherever you guys want to go with it. Yeah. May I jump in? Yeah. Let me just ask for FOI because there's so many counselors in this meeting right now. Should we even be debating this because this will come before the council? Uh, Councilor Franco? Yes. This is a, a rules and procedures committee. We're all uh, ex officio members of this committee. So this is a, a legal, legal meeting. Um, and this is a, a meeting for the, in the public record as well. Understood, but I'm just saying because there's so many of us here, that's why there was supposed to be three on the no, committee. There's no, there's, no, there's no votes that can be taken. All right. I just thought that some of this debate was supposed to be done at the town council meeting after the rules figure things out and then bring it to the council. I expect it would be. <laughs> Well, this is this is a public. Well, for one, this is a public meeting, and two, we're all ex officio members of this committee. Um, you know, as long as uh, the chair of the committee recognizes a non-committee member, um, you know, duly recognizes them to speak, they can participate and speak in, at that meeting. Um, you just cannot make a motion or vote uh, in this committee. Uh, the only person uh, who can, or the only three people that can do that, are myself. Councillor O'Brien and Councillor Parker. All right, I, I understand, but there's five of us that are not on this committee that are here. That's all I'm saying. And I get we're all ex officio members, but I'm just making a comment. Okay, point taken. We got. I think we have four that are not part of it, but does, it does, I I uh, I will hear. I hear what both of you are saying. But I'm, um, I'm the type that would like to always open it up and have other opinions put in. And since we posted the meeting, you know, we, they, it was done so that in actuality, if somebody really wanted to be part of it, they could. So I, you know, as a spectator. But we'll check on it. Okay, do we have anything else for today? Anybody? I think that's enough. <laughs> I think it is too. <laughs> I, I make a motion to adjourn. I thank you, Councilor Parker, honey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll go ahead as, do I hear a second? And Andre, you're gonna 
second I, that? I will, um, as long as we have some discussion on that motion. So second. Why yep. we have a discussion? I, I was just um, hoping maybe we can create an agenda for next week or uh, next month um, and maybe talk about things we want to keep in mind, um, whether or not it's appropriate to continue kind of going through the agenda almost, you know, uh, you know, by section or if we there's something maybe we want to go back on because we, we had mentioned we still need to go back on a few items that we table. Um, so just in, maybe think about some things before we go and, and do some homework before we go into the next meeting. I, I think that the whole agenda just discusses it. our topic is the rules. I don't think we have to break it down. We can go back if we want to. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> if anybody has anything they'd like to send before we meet again, I, I'm happy to, uh, to put that together so that we'll have discussion on what's important to everybody. But I think we're moving along. I think we kind of have the same thing in mind. We want a little bit more of a, of a smooth agenda. I think we want to limit times a little bit so our meetings don't run so long. And I think we could, I don't know if it's appropriate or not, but I think it would be good one night that the mayor and John join us so that we can just talk about uh, timing on some of the things that go on the agenda. I I am never comfortable when, I'm just gonna put this out and at the next meeting we can talk about uh, it. I, I'm sorry, we have a motion on the floor. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. No problem. We have a motion to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, I miss you all. Hey, you, nobody recognized her, you know, I don't know. Okay, hear you James, I, off. I thought you were looking good. I liked that what you had going there. Uh, so did we all agree? Yes, we did. Okay. And I'm <laughs> ending it at 657. So we can't talk anymore, huh? No. <laughs> Stop the recording. How's that?